Hello, my name is Dirk and I will present you our joint work with the title Neural Network Visualization in Virtual Reality A Use Case Analysis and Implementation. In the ongoing process of digitalization, artificial neural networks are increasingly used in industrial and scientific fields. The group of people who need to understand the functioning of these algorithms, such as common programmers, increased. Unfortunately, most visualization approaches of neural networks are tailored to developers of machine learning libraries, such as TensorBoard for TensorFlow, or require prior knowledge. A severe challenge in visualization AI models is the enormous size and complexity of neural networks. While 2D visualizations are easier to navigate and interact with, they do not scale particularly uh, well to large data sets. To avoid a cluttered view, 2D visualizations rely on multiple views that may strain and confuse beginners. Consequently, two-dimensional visualization approaches are only somewhat suitable for introducing ANNs. The inclusion of the third dimension is required to increase the information density of the visualization without exposing users to additional cognitive load. Especially virtual reality environments uh, may be well suited to analyze n-dimensional models. Objects in VR do not have to be grabbed and turned to be observed. Users simply walk around objects. Moreover, the virtual space offers enough room to allow the comparison of several neural networks. Furthermore, VR technology has the potential of supporting studying processes by providing an immersive environment. Previous research has shown that a 3D visualization of convolutional neural networks in VR has positive effects on learning outcome and learning experience of users. And in this context, mass research focuses on teaching non-experts about neural networks. To identify use cases and main requirements, of an ANN visualization to derive design implications, uh, we conducted a use case analysis through a survey questionnaire. We conducted an online survey addressed to machine learning experts. The survey aimed to determine in which cases experts require ANN visualization tools to identify specific essential features and functionalities and to evaluate beneficial effects on VR technology. The survey consists of two sections. In the first section, questions refer to ANN visualization tools in general and the second section focused on ANN visualizations in VR. We received 17 responses. All participants stated to have an advanced or expert knowledge in machine learning. We asked all participants in what situations they wish to use a suitable visualization tool and what use cases they can imagine for others. The results show that most answers concern explainability and evaluation purposes. Furthermore, we ask the participants to name important features and information that has to be represented in an ANN visualization. The table shows a list of responses clustered by network architecture and network status. The second part of the survey aimed to determine the conditions under which the use case of virtual reality technology would be a feasible way to visualize ANNs. In summary, we could identify three use cases. First, the teaching use case. Machine learning teachers could use visualizations in VR to explain the functioning of ANNs to their students. Second use case is presenting. Machine learning researchers could use visualizations in VR to present AI to non-experts. And the third use case is learning. Machine learning students could use visualizations in VR to explore ANNs to gain knowledge. Further, we ask about VR benefits. In summary, we could identify four benefits for using VR technology. The usage of virtual space to explore large networks. The comparison of different networks. Having an immersive environment. And having new ways of interacting with the network. Most participants could imagine that adequate ANN visualizations would be useful for evaluation and explainability purposes. 
Further, they mentioned that the usage of the virtual space may be beneficial for exploring higher dimensional or large neural networks. However, using VR would mostly be necessary for teaching, presenting or learning purposes. We found three main user groups for ANN visualizations, developers as machine learning experts or machine learning researchers, students such as machine learning beginners or users with the need to gain basic understanding of ANNs and non-experts such as managers and saleswomen. These different user groups have different use cases and therefore different requirements to an ANN visualization. The results of the use case analysis were used to derive design implications for the ANN visualizations. We define the following design goals. First, construct an immersive and engaging learning experience. We want to ensure a user-friendly interaction and high user experience through an engaging environment. Second, require no prior knowledge. We want to provide users all necessary information they need to understand the functionality and architecture of the different ANNs. We use digit recognition based on the MNIST dataset as a representative daughter ANN example. In the first step, the CNN had to be modeled, trained and tested. Exploratory testing resulted in splitting the trained hyperparameters for exporting the CNN data into different file formats. This was done due to performance constraints and associated minimization of user experience. We imported the separated components of the CNN into the game engine. Then we visualized and tested each layer of the CNN individually. Due to the complexity of the construction of neural networks and the resulting potential information overload, we have decided to provide users with free sources of information in the virtual environment instead of putting all information into one model. The main focus of the application is the 3D model located in the main area in the center of the room. Additional information is displayed to the left and to the right of the main area. The detailed information provides additional information about the ANN model according to the model layer. The general information area provides general deep learning information as well as information about other neural networks. The 3D model includes all major components of CNN. The visualized components are input layer, convolutional layer, pooling layer, fully collected layer and output layer. Each element is clearly separated from each other and can be viewed in the entire virtual space. To interact with the 3D model, users can use the input panel in front of the model and the interaction panels next to the representative model component. The input panel enables users to choose between different input data. These are 30 randomized examples of the training dataset. Moreover, the user can show and hide the individual model components. Thus, they have the possibility to explore the individual CNN components separately. Moreover, we created a self-explanatory interaction at each component of the CNN. Each interaction element offers the opportunity to encode the complexity of the represented object. For the proof-of-concept study, we used the prototype with all components and interaction modality as mentioned before. The goal was to determine if the application contributes the understanding of the CNN and we checked uh, whether the primary requirements were met. For the participants, the representation of the input layer as pixel cubes was understandable and contributed to the gain of knowledge. The layout structure of the feature maps led to an understanding of the multidimensionality of the convolutional layer and showed the data reduction as well as the feature expression of the layer. Nevertheless, some users found it difficult to understand the relationship between the input layer and the feature map. In addition, the two-dimensional representation of the feature maps made it difficult to understand neuron activation. The same applied to the visualization of the pooling layers, which did not stand out from the feature maps and their form of representation. Two users also wished for info texts on the feature maps to better understand connections. Only one user understood the context of the layers. 
The static visualization of filters led to misunderstandings in some cases. The transition from the pooling layer to the flatten layer was understandable. The output layer was well understood by the user group as well. During the overall visualization of the CNN, it was noted that the individual layers were too close together. The output layer was well understood by the user group. During the overall visualization of the CNN, it was noted that the individual layers were too close together. This resulted in some user feelings as a sense of crowding. In addition, the layers being too close together resulted in some interactions not being performed correctly. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact us.